Alright guys, I've been working on a little arcade project and I figured I'd show you what I've been doing. So, looking at a monitor chassis here, this one's actually damaged. It came to me that way in shipping when I bought a machine, unfortunately. And um, I ended up sourcing another one. So I've since swapped that in. But when after I did the swap, uh, the picture wasn't all that great. So, uh, I had a friend come over and we were messing with it yesterday and we actually got it to look pretty good. So I was just going to show you on this damaged one here. Um, what we were doing. Uh, that's black box right there with the knobs on the end. That's your flyback. Um, that actually is where the high voltage is stored. You got the anode wire right there which goes into the flyback. Uh, that's what will be hooked onto the back of the tube. Um, it looks, looks like a suction cup. There's a little metal clip in the middle of it. Um, so if you're ever going to work on these you definitely want to make sure that you discharge that before you're going to you know, take the board out or do a, a monitor swap or anything because uh, it could be dangerous otherwise. And anyhow, uh, the two pots right here uh, for screen and focus. So if you're getting any blurriness, um, stuff isn't very sharp, chances are those need adjustment. And that was the case with mine, and we messed with them, and now it looks looks pretty good. See those scan lines again, which is exactly what you want. So a uh, series of pots right here. I got stuff for uh, messing with the geometry, which was also messed up on mine. Um, that's when you know you're the screen isn't very square, the, the image it's displaying. So you can mess with the uh, parallelogram there, the side pin, um, the TB trape. Uh, those three will mess with the geometry of the monitor. And yeah, that, that tick took a lot of time to, to get that decent. So now, yep, it's looking, looking much better though. So we also have um, horizontal size, vertical size, positioning for horizontal and vertical, um, and then hidden back here. You can see that another one right there. That's for your vertical hold, which we didn't need to mess with, luckily. Um, this board right here, smaller board, that's the neck board. So that goes right onto the back of the tube. Um, and there's a few more adjustments on there. Red, green, and blue for your colors. Um, if, if one of them's too high, you'll get color bleeding. And the screen will be very bright, um, stuff like that. So, And then there's also uh, contrast, which will, again, affect the brightness of the screen. So... There's your two basic boards, and there's one more smaller adjustment board that goes under the control panel that I'll show you, but uh, I'm probably curious as to what I've got over here, so might as well show you that. Got a board hooked up right now. Ride End Fighters, Saibu Kaihatsu SPI hardware. There we are. And the cab is a Konami Windy. You see the uh, upper marquee there that did not come with the cab. I had to source that out separate and those are hard to find. Very hard to come by. It's a pretty, uh, pretty custom piece. You can't just fabricate one of those the way it hooks onto the back and just the shape of the thing. But yeah, I actually got it with the original Konami uh, border there and you can pop in whatever artwork you want. It happens to be King of Fighters 2003 in there right now. But, uh, let's give you the rundown of the cab here. It's vertical mode right now. Obviously I'm using this for shooters your speakers on the sides there where those grills are. I got a one player control panel in there. I got that from River Service in Japan. Uh, I bought it brand new. I think the color scheme goes pretty good with the windy. You can see there too uh, the original instruction space. It's not a sticker but the uh, whatever the artwork that goes in there that's original. Unfortunately a little cigarette burn on the sticker there but I could always replace that. I'll show you underneath control panel here. So that's your other uh, adjustments, which you pretty much want to use for just you know tweaking game to game because every hardware is going to run a little different on your monitor, look a little different. Um, we've got contrast, you know, another set of red, green, blues, brightness, and then uh, horizontal size, horizontal position, vertical size, vertical position. Over here, got your uh, your control inputs, uh, player one, because I only have a one player panel, so player two is empty right now, but that's where it would go if you had a two player panel here. Um, this is for your kick harness, which this panel has because it's a six button, so the extra three buttons would hook in here. I don't have it hooked up because I'm not playing Street Fighter or anything, but it's, it's ready to go if I need it. And then uh, ground, you can see the bottom of this panel, all nice and shiny. Sanwa joystick and buttons. Let's 
This is an actual piece of glass. It's not plastic. So that's kind of neat. Um, it's going to be kind of hard to show you the inside because it's dark. I have a little flashlight. We'll see how much that does. Uh, that's your power supply right there. A few uh, different knobs or uh, buttons on there. The bottom one, the white one, is for power on off. Then uh, the gray one is a fuse. Uh, to the left of the gray one, that's a DGOS button. Above that, uh, test menu. And then to the right of that is service credits. And let's see here. If you can see it, there's some other connections down there. The orange ones, that's to change it from stereo to mono. Uh, right over there, that white plug, that's for the kick harness. So with uh, another amp connector, you plug it into there, and then you could go to whatever kind of kick harness you wanted, Capcom System 1, System 2, uh, Tech N, really whatever. You just have to wire it up. So yeah, I know it's got bars going through the screen now, but uh, you can see it plays, it plays an alright picture. You know, the colors and everything isn't perfect yet, but it's, it's getting there. And it does look better on the Capcom System 2, which is what we used to, to really tune it. So I think, I think it's playing an overall decent picture that I've tried a few different kinds of hardware on this, but uh, I'll be doing a gameplay video with this and I'll get those bars to go away. And uh, yeah, you guys can take a look at that. Alright guys. Thanks for taking a look at this, Konami Windy.